any scabies or something? You give me, please. Because I love you. <laughs>
Madras was her set. This was right after Rockstar. She got a lot of like, like how did she be? How did she? It's be? relational. It must be, man. It's relational. But anyways, let us know let how us know. she is in this, please. But how is this film in general? Yeah, the uh, trailer looks great. Wait for me. An Indian intelligence agent journeys to a war-torn coastal island to break a resolute rebel group and meets a passionate journalist. Yeah, it, it, it reminded me a little bit, that aspect of it, her being a journalist and wanting to report and him being what he does, had shades of um, uh, Blood Diamond and DiCaprio's relationship with the journalist, uh, but just shades of it. It felt like Apocalypse Now at the beginning with the helicopters and it felt yeah. like a Vietnam film, it but is, I know it's not. It is the director, uh, shoot it, shoot. who directed Pink. Pink. Yeah, Vicky Donor. Uh, Vicky Donor. Piku. Piku. Well, I don't. Maybe he didn't direct. Or did he? Stuff. Yeah. Director of Piku. Yeah. Uh, director. Man. Director. Director. I, I have high hopes for her working with him. Sincerely. Let us know, please. Yeah, please uh, let us know. <laughs> I have very high hopes. And this is John Abraham, of course. Yeah. Um, Looks great. Uh, yeah, the trailer is a phenomenal. Great trailer. trailer. Um, I like the look of it a lot. If it's a true story, who did the just, score? Because if, if the score for the trailer is the same as the person who did the, because sometimes it doesn't happen. It doesn't mean, you know, a composer can do the film and then someone completely different does the trailer. But uh, now, most of the times, the same person. Let me see if he's the same person. But um, composer October Pink Pink, composer of PK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the composer Good stuff. of. Let's see what else. I mean, three idiots. A lot and three idiots. You He's done a lot. You love that. Uh, yep. Album. Love that. Um, love the music in Three Idiots. Um, so yeah, this looks. I mean, it's it was highly requested, um, especially once we started getting to some of John Abraham's stuff. Uh, should this be was, one of our first? Uh, let us know, like, what should be um, his our first introduction outside. Obviously, we saw him in Seven Kuma. Um, right, but uh, like, and I'll tell you what else was impressive in this film, film that he leads. The, the impressive in this was the sound editing and sound mixing, uh, the breaking glass, the gunshots, the ricochet, the uh, yeah. just everything looks high similar quality. like style to like um, what's that film um, with uh, they're in Vietnam uh, platoon yeah platoon style yeah and by by the way we I see some we, a lot of comments sometimes they'll say you know don't compare it to this. Irrespective, it could be an American film. Like one time, we were compared something and said it reminded us of KFG. We have to compare it to something that's our frame of reference. And if it reminds us of something, it's not either a compliment or a derogatory statement. It's just it reminds me. Of, most of the time, it's complimentary. It's it reminds me of this in a favorable way. Unless it's this reminds me of Student of the Year too. Then that's that's obviously not, not so good. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it looks really good. I'd be totally interested in seeing this. Uh, if you say if you recommend good, it, uh, if you say it's not, and she's terrible, then yeah, that would be my that that would be my biggest concern. Uh, but the fact that she's working with this director speaks volumes to me because I know what he did with Piku and and the work that he got out of Topeka, mm -hmm. who similarly came into doing film with no history of acting of I any kind. Can compare her to Topeka. I wasn't comparing her to Topeka. I was talking I about, I'm thankful that she's working with this kind of a director because the performance that he got from Topeka in Piku mm -hmm. was beautiful. Especially that scene where you've seen the behind the scenes with the knife in the trunk and the way they all work together and the mm -hmm. improv that took place and her, I mean, he got her to improv comfortably with... Well, she's a phenomenal actress. Yeah, I'm not saying she's not. Don't compare her oh, to the grief. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> imagine, know. imagine if I'd compared her to Alia. That's more actually acceptable. They're both phenomenal actors. You compared her to this girl from Rockstar. No, no, no. If I compared this girl to Alia, that's oh yeah. No, uh, no not the Pika to Alia. It's her to Alia. That's still insulting. It's just as insulting. And I wasn't comparing her to anybody. I was saying I'm thankful she's working with the same director who brought the performance he brought out of Topeka. How dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, too... Why do you do this? Just give up. The stupidity. 